This is hydrogen tap. This looks like this will be the final configuration of the focus cell. And as you're looking at it now, you can see there's four electrodes here. And two ports, hydrogen out, water in. One of the things that I've done, I found out that I had to do, is install one more port on the bottom that's for water out. What you're looking at is my demo rig. It's not the actual casing that it goes in. It's strictly a system I put together so you could look inside and see how the cells are arranged. One of the most important parts of the system will be the two electrodes here that are actually measuring the amount of water that's in the cell. You can see the lower one here and then the higher one over there. This is the fill mark which is just a little bit over the cell itself. If you look at it you can see about where it sits. And then the other plate, again stainless steel here. See if I can get a better look at it. There you can see them both. So the other stainless steel plate on that side there, that is the fill mark. This system's working really well. Tested it out a couple of times. So what I do is I attach. Actually, I only have to attach one more cable to each of the the transistors or relays to trigger it because the other is common to my electrodes on the top. What I'll do is show you the system intact in the tube that it's going to be in. And I'm getting ready to, or I will be sealing this unit. Again, one of the things I had to finally, or I've been really, really uh, long decision on, is this other port on the bottom, which is the water output port. Notice it's got this the fittings on it, so you can attach a hose to it. I didn't want to put any any other holes in the body, but I just could not work it any other way. There has to be a port to take the water out in case you have to empty it out, in case it gets contaminated. You can see it fits really snug in this case, in the tube itself. If you look real close, you'll see they go right to the edge. And all in all, it's going to look really nice. Again, this is the focus. If you want to send me an email at johnarons at hydrogentap, T-A-P dot com, you're welcome to do that. I answer just about every piece of email I get. I have a computer by that I'm constantly looking at and checking. The only mail I don't answer is email that's irrelevant to the quest. You can see here it really fits well. So what I'm getting ready to do now, give you a better look at this, so essentially the 
it's not as tall as it looks. It's only uh, 9 inches, 10 inches from the bottom to the very top. So you allow another inch to the top of the electrodes. So the next step will be to put this into the test showcase system. I've got to let this dry. I just put the port in the bottom of that. And that's got to dry and so the port on this the tube itself. So that's just setting now. It's going to take at least another 8 or 10 hours to set. That'll be overnight. So my next, which will be tomorrow, what I'm going to be doing will be to put electrolyzer in this tube here and we'll watch it and see the reactions that it's getting. I'm going to set it up as if it's running. And it won't be sealed, so I'm not testing the output yet. But once I'm satisfied with everything the way it works, and see that I don't have to add anything else, such as that water output port. Then what I'm going to do is transfer it over to the other tube, the working tube. That's the white tube. And then I'll seal it, and then we'll start looking at the outputs. Again, the spacing on this cell is two-eighths of an inch apart. as opposed to one-eighth that I've been using for everything. And again, I'm following my own formula for that. Because there are ten plates in here, which means I double space it. So, to, so Tomorrow I'll be running the test on this cell, the focus, and see how it performs, the way it's set up. And hopefully within the next day or two I'm going to start measuring the outputs, which everyone's been after me to do. I'm also going to be working on the transistor that's going to set up with this system to monitor the water level and I'll be setting up the systems for buzzers and so forth on it here in the lab. Hopefully the weather will be getting nice out here that I can start putting it back into the car. When this sale goes on sale, and it will, it's going to be complete that means it's going to have everything including the meters, the line, everything that you could possibly need. I'm sure there'll be some fittings for the car that I won't have. The other thing this will have to do, and I'm working on that now, is having some kind of mounting brackets on it. I haven't quite worked that out yet, but I will. So it's coming, actually it's not so slow. It's coming pretty fast now that I've got the cell design done. There are a few things I still have to tweak out, but I think you're going to see this is one of the major players in the hydrogen system. You can see the spacer here. There's going to be a lot of extras that comes with this cell. I'll tell you about it in the days to come. As you know, I've reached the 300th video, which is really interesting. I never figured I'd be on the air this long. I hope, I hope I've helped a number of people. I'm getting a lot of good email on that. appreciate that. You can go to my site, hydrogentap.com, 